Jackie and welcome back to my channel. For today's video we have an updated Harley Quinn look from the new Birds of Prey movie coming out. I hope you guys like this kind of cosplay because I don't normally do cosplays. Usually I'll pick characters that are like pretty wearable like Blair Waldorf, it's pretty natural, but this makeup is super fun, still wearable if you like something a little more dramatic. Um, but I decided to go with the wig. This is from Pose Wigs and I did cut the bangs just to modify it a bit, but it's an amazing wig, so I'll have it linked down below, as well as the full outfit that I got. So it did come with tattoos and I'm not wearing them, but uh, when I opened it, I cut up the tattoos. So don't do that if you decide to get this full look, but it's really well made and we got the thing and everything so I hope you guys like this look and if you do make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more pop culture videos the last Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn look I did was so long ago I just kept my brown hair for that tutorial and it's really fun to revisit so anyways let's get started with the makeup it took me a while to put on this wig and cut the bangs, so I did that off camera because I'm definitely not a wig pro, but I already do have my foundation on as well, and to really pale out the skin instead of using a face paint, I love the Body Shop Lightning Drops. I've used these for years and I'm applying a couple of dots on the back of my hand, and then I'm adding this to my chin, under the eyes and up the cheekbones in a V motion there, and then on the top of my nose and quite a bit on my jawline. This blends into foundation really well, and it's like a pure white because a lot of concealer have like a pink or a yellow undertone and this character look is slightly dead looking so we definitely want to go super pale. And then my favorite drugstore powder is by Revlon. It's great because it is so light, but again, you can be any skin tone to replicate a Harley Quinn look. I just happen to be close in coloring, so I'm just gonna go for it. And Margot Robbie in the trailer scenes that I have been referencing the looks, looks very dewy and not too matte. So I just added a touch of powder for some longevity to the look. And how fun are these nails? I could only see the nail design in this promo poster, but to me it looked like dots. So I started with a white base and then I just added pink, maroon, navy, yellow, and I think it looks pretty cool. I'm out of my contour powder I normally use, the Kevin Aquan one, so I went with this Fenty Amber Stick. Honestly, I don't love using cream contour. I don't like the feeling of it, but it does leave a great effect. Um, the shade is amazing. I'm taking it on a brush and I'm starting to sculpt out those strong Harley Quinn cheekbones, fading the contour down by my mouth. Margot has quite a distinct nose shape. I love her nose. I wish I had it naturally. I'm just starting with the tip here and adding more structure in a V. Shading between my brows and then in a diamond-like shape to match her bone structure. And then a line above the tip for more of an upturn look. This lighting I use now always washes out the contour, so I have to do it quite a bit stronger than what you're actually seeing here, but go with a light hand, and I love blending in with my finger and then patting into the foundation. And to make the cheekbones look more natural and less harsh from pale to contoured, add one of your favorite blushes. This one is the Hourglass Ambient Blush, and it has such a pretty finish. For a dewy highlight, I'm all out of my Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight, which is holy grail to me. Clearly I've run out of some makeup, I have to do some, do some shopping. But I also love the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Highlighter and Balm Duo. You apply the cream highlight and then layer the balm and it creates an amplified shine and more of a dewy look. I like this better on natural skin. My skin is not that even to do it without any foundation. But if you don't wear foundation and you want a complexion boost, I would really try out this product. Otherwise, I say go with the Charlotte Tilbury if you want more of a pop. I always will highlight the cheekbones, chin, and tip of nose as well as right beside any contour lines to help pick up the light and make the look overall just more realistic. And I gotta contour that jawline. Mine is so much more rounded than Margot's. I really went hardcore with this, um, especially when I was taking the recreation photo. And brows, mine are pretty full so I'm brushing them up and then defining the bottom to be more even with Benefit Goof Proof Boop, oh my gosh. Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 3. I love this product, it's so easy to use and you just fade in the head of the brow, create more of a defined arch if you want to, and I love that this has a spoolie because it makes it look so much more natural when you just give it a comb through. 
I don't own too many gunmetal and cool tone shades because I am a sucker for warm browns and coppers on the eye, but I have this Urban Decay Heavy Metals Metallic Eyeshadow Palette, and I don't think it's in stock currently, but all you'll need is a metallic silver with a blue shift to it and a metallic black shadow. Harley's makeup does change. I saw there was a pink makeup look, a bare lid with liner with the red lip, but I found the closest reference picture with this smoky eye, so I'm going with that. And just building up the black in a V on the outer corner, pat it onto the outer lid and then into a rounded shape above the crease about halfway. I added that first silver shadow also above the crease in the space between the black shading. Pretty easy and I love to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray either on my finger or on a brush and then pat it into a metallic shadow and apply right on the center of the lid and it really makes the shadow pop. I'll go in and deepen up the eye once we have some liner and I can get a better uh, look at it all together but also smoke under the lashes with the deepest shadow. Take any black pencil liner, I'm using one from L'Oreal here, but my favorite drugstore liner right now is probably the Revlon So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner. They're so easy to use and really bold, so if you're looking for a new one, you should try that one. And if you want to get that boldness to the eye with liner, make it pop by using more of a dotted motion. It just adds a bit of boldness. And then, still using a pencil, I took an angled liner brush and I smoked out the upper lash line as well as tight lining, and this helped create more of an almond-shaped eye. You can kind of see it closes off my round eye for a bit of a nice smolder and then curl those lashes. Apply your favorite mascara. I went with Bad Gal Bang. I thought that suited the vibe. I really like this mascara and I focused it on the upper outer lashes. We gotta do the iconic heart. Harley also has a rotten tattoo on the pink hair side and I for real could not figure out how to write it on my face. I was looking through the mirror and having like a Karen from Mean Girls moment. You could do a temporary tattoo but over top of makeup I think that would be hard so I skipped it. Heart's cute and the only face tat I'll allow. And then I decided to go back in with that liner and I'm just bringing it closer to the tear duct to add more drama and continue with that more almond shape. I'm loving this eye look, and I don't have the wig fully pinned here just for comfort. I'll fix the sides a little bit later, but I do recommend to do the makeup and then add the wig on after. Just wigs are not the most comfortable thing ever. And lips, you gotta go with the red. I quickly went through my kit and I picked out the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Matador. This is great shade wise and it really stays put, but it stains your lips. So know that it's like very pigmented and leaves residue. And I also took the Revlon Matte Super Lustrous Lipstick in Black Cherry. I love Revlon's new matte collection and my favorite shade is actually Hot Chocolate. I posted this on Insta and I love the shade name for winter. But all you want to keep in mind for the Harley lip is you want a gradient with a bold cupid's bow as well. And you could always use some black shadow to intensify this. And let's do some touch-ups. This wig, as I said, is from Pose Wigs and it comes styled with a lace front. Wigs that are updos tend to slide back more than a regular wig. So you can see my wig cap here before I adjusted it. And um, you want to make sure that before you take a picture or go to any event that you use U-pins and you alternate directions to make sure the wig is snug around the hairline. And here's the full cosplay outfit I got online. I'll have this one linked down below as well as everything else. And I'm actually going to sell this one for cheaper on my Poshmark too because but yeah, I did the video and I'm not going anywhere, sorry. And this is a size extra small for reference and I am 5'4". Typically an extra small fits me great when I get stuff online, but the overall look was all too big for me. So look at the size chart. You might have to do some modifications, but this kit came with everything, even the tats that I ruined by accident. Love the weapon and I seriously love the overalls. I feel like this set was one of the more accurate ones that I saw and it has like um, knee pads. It's just really well made. And I hope you liked this full Harley Quinn transformation. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked this Harley Quinn look, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more pop culture videos every week. I also have been trying to throw in some more everyday looks um, that are quick and easy. So last upload, I did a ponytail that I wear quite often, and I was thinking next up, I would do my favorite curly bun with kind of faux bangs. I don't know what my hands are doing, but uh, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that next. And thank you so much for tagging me in all your photos. I love seeing your styles, and I got a lot of pictures from the Little Women hairstyle tutorial I did so you guys look amazing and I will see you in my next one.